Hi! Welcome to I Question PH. Our today's question is What are the modified parts of plants? Every part of a plant has functions. Some plants even have modified parts. It means that one or more parts change their structures for special purposes. The roots, for example, which anchor the plant and absorb water and nutrients from the surrounding soil have additional function. Roots are also important for food storage. Modified roots store food. They're called storage roots. Examples are the carrots, beets, and sweet potatoes. Another kind of modified roots stabilize the tree, especially in shallow, saturated soils. This kind of modified roots form big roots. These big roots are called buttress roots. An example of this is a balete tree. The stems, on the other hand, which carry water and nutrients to different parts of the plant, can become a modified plant part too. One kind of a modified stem is the stem that can store food. Rhizomes are underground stems that burrow into the ground. They are used to store starches and proteins and enable plants to survive all seasons of the year. An example of this is a ginger. A tuber is another kind of modified stem. They are enlarged structures in some plant species used as storage organs for nutrients. Common plant species with stem tubers include potatoes and yams. Another modified stem are tendrils. It is a slender, thread-like strand produced usually from the node of a stem by which a vine or other plant may climb. Examples are grapes and bitter gourds. The leaves are plant parts that are responsible for food production. Some plants have modified leaves, like for example, storage leaves. These plants have water storage tissue that help plants conserve water and resist drying up. An example of this is an aloe vera. Some plants have spines, which are modified leaves too. They are used by the plant for protection. An example is a cactus. The spines of this plant also help reduce water loss. A bulb, meanwhile, consists of layers of modified leaves. These leaves contain food reserves to enable the plant to survive adverse conditions. The best example of this are the onions. The insect trapping leaves are another example of modified leaves capable 
of trapping insects and other organisms. Examples are the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant. Because of this, they are called carnivorous plants. And those were the modified parts of a plant. Most plants have modified parts for their protection. While some often display enlarged organs to develop into edible crops. Modified organs store vitamins and minerals that are important for human health. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.